Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I have Louie with me today and we are going to make a beautiful wreath for my bathroom. I have talked about these canvas pieces at the Dollar Tree before and how perfect they are to decorate wreaths. And so this is what we're going to use today. The teals and whites in this picture match my bathroom perfectly and I have an empty wall where I'm going to hang this wreath. All right, Louie, you ready to get started? Let's get started on this wreath. I'm super excited that we're doing a bubble wreath because A, this is going to be a fun wreath to make and B, this wreath is perfect for beginners and great for experts. Let's go over the supplies. For deco mesh, I'm going to be using this beautiful heavy foiled mesh and you either need two rolls of 10 inch by 10 yards or one roll that's 21 inches in length also by 10 yards. This is going to be our decor piece. Next, you're going to need pipe cleaners, 21 pipe cleaners to attach the deco mesh to the wreath, and then a few more if you have decor pieces. For a ribbon, I chose colors that are already in my main decor piece, and I have some pink, some blues. I did want to use some teal, but the problem is there's just so much in the mesh itself. I decided to bring out the blue that you can see right here, right here, and then in some other areas. I just picked out colors that would look really nice with this and are not going to clash with our actual deco mesh. For the base of the wreath, I'm using a 14 inch metal wreath form. Last but not least, I'm going to need three zip ties. One for the beginning of when I'm going to be making bubbles, one for the end, and one to bring my bow together. I usually don't do this part in the beginning of the wreath, but because the way my sign is going to be, I would like to do it before. See where I want it to be, and then I'm going to hold it and flip. Let's move it a little bit to the side. This right here, I'm just going to attach a pipe cleaner to the side. I just want this to be as stable as possible, so that is why I'm making sure where to put my actual pipe cleaner, and I'm thinking, about there is going to be nice and stable. Now that I have my places marked, I'm going to take my pipe cleaners, fold them in half, make a little flat edge on this side, just like that. Next, you're going to need two scraps of felt or fabric or sometimes pieces of ribbon if it's nice and thick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually attach it to the side hot glue right in the corner right where it bends my pipe cleaner on there and then lots of hot glue on top going to one side and then i'm going to put more hot glue towards the inside and fold that over and then i'm going to do the same thing on this side our pipe cleaners are attached just so you see how I did it. I'm going to put this to the side for now. Now I'm taking the 21 pipe cleaners that I prepared, fold them in half, cut, and then I'm going to take it and then fold it in a little V. This will be a huge help when we're actually attaching the deco mesh. Let's get started on attaching our deco mesh. This little cutting mat from the Dollar Tree is six inches by eight inches. And since our bubbles are going to be eight inches, I'm not even pulling out my big cutting mat. This one is just fine. So I have my deco mesh, throw it right in the basket and one outside the basket on the other side. Let me show you what I mean. If I were to put the second roll right behind here, it's going to catch. So in order for me to pull them out nice and smooth, I'm going to put the second roll on the outside of the basket. That way it's going to roll out really nicely. Look at that. First things first, let's overlap the edges. Go in about two, two and a half inches and bring it together. Then I'm doing a quick check, making sure that I have everything in my tail so that nothing is pulled out. Let's go over our bubbles. Our bubbles are going to be eight inches in length and we are going to be doing seven bubbles per section. Our wreath form has six sections. That means we're going to have 42 bubbles total. You can either attach your bubbles to row two, row three, 
or row two and three. I'm going to put my deco mesh in between row two and three, and I'm going to do it on this crossbar. Grabbing a zip tie, I'm going to go from one side to the other of the crossbar, zip tie that in. With my deco mesh, I went through here and then straightened my tail out to the side and zip tied it in place. You could do another zip tie if you want, since we started and attached the beginning on bar two, because when we come all the way around, this is going to be a little bit too much to attach it on the same side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it on the crossbar that's on row three. I'm going to be attaching my bubbles to row two. I'm starting right here at zero and I'm going to keep it tight and go to eight. Don't make it too loose because then it's not going to be a true eight inches and you might not have enough at the end. So always keep it tight when you're measuring. Bring it in. I'm putting a pipe cleaner on row two and just putting my deco mesh little bubble right on top. Twist a little bit more, cut off the excess, fold and fold back. Your bubble is taken care of. Next, same thing eight inches grabbing a pipe cleaner going on row two putting my bubble right on top and giving my pipe cleaner a few twists going up about an inch from the connection cut off the excess fold and fold back it's nice and neat and we're going to continue I am done with my first section. Just look at this gorgeousness. I love the way using two rolls just overlays. I'm actually not going to be opening these up like I usually do because it's just, it's perfect the way it is. It's so unique, it's stunning. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is only one section. I'm going to go ahead and continue making eight inch little bubbles going all the way around. Before going to the next bubble, I like to just go in and make sure this bubble is overlaid nicely with the two rolls of deco mesh. And that way it's just a perfect little bubble and off I go. I am on my last bubble and this deco mesh is so pretty for a nautical wreath. That's actually why I bought it, but ended up getting that picture that worked really perfectly with it. And doing eight inch bubbles going all the way around, this is all I have left from my deco mesh. So just keep that in mind when you are making your bubbles. Going in about three inches. Here is where I started. I'm going to finish off on this little intersection. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the tail. That crossbar on row three is where I'm going to go. And my zip tie is going to go on one side of this bar and on the other side of that little crossbar. Tighten my zip tie and cut it off. Push it through and you can zip tie it more if you want, but I just wanted to show you Here's the beginning and here is the end. I sometimes do open all the bubbles up, but I also think it depends on the deco mesh that you use. Using two rolls of the 10 inch deco mesh, you reinforce the design kind of twice or the print twice and it seems to work beautifully. Here's a little close up of all the bubbles. As you can see, this is not a see-through wreath. This is a jam packed thick, strong wreath and now we're going to add the sign i want a little bit of deco mesh to show on the side and at the bottom so that the only the corner is sticking out and i really like the way that looks and i'm just pulling my pipe cleaners through when i'm doing that first connection i only do one twist because i want to make sure that it's in the right place oh look at this i think it's perfect i like that okay now I'm going to go in the back and just twist all of that in place. For this particular wreath, I am not going to cover the back because it's going in my own bathroom. I'm not gifting it, I'm not selling it. So I really don't need to cover the back. But if you want to see how I cover the back, I use a few styles of doing that. And you know what? I'll just attach a few videos in the description box below and uh, you can check them out. Now we're going to do a bow to put on the side 
side right here. For this bow, I decided to have a little fun and we're going to do three loop bows for each of the ribbon. First, we have the pink one, just eyeing the tail. And since this one is double-sided, I'm just going to get started on my loops and I'm going to be making five inch loops. The tail I'm going to swing on either side. So we have five inch there, another five inch here. I have measurements on my bow maker so it's easy to tell where your five inches are. Loop number three. And I'm just going to finish off this spool of ribbon. How pretty is that? Next, I'm coming in with the white ribbon. I'm just measuring off tail, more like eyeing it. And then I'm going to make five inch loops. All the ribbon I'm using today is going to be double sided. So we're not going to twist in the center. We're almost zigzagging. And since we're making three loop bows, I kind of tried to keep things quite even so if I started on this side with my first ribbon then I'm going to start on this side with my second ribbon that way the tails are evened out and also my loops let's cut that off now I'm coming in with the blue this is going to be so pretty and I'm just zigzagging three loops now I'm coming in with, with my pretty pretty ribbon same thing I'm going to keep it to five inch loops and do three. This time I'm going to get a clear zip tie. There is nothing better like the zip tie to put everything in place and you know it's nice and secure. Grabbing another pipe cleaner, just wrapping it around the center and in the back so we have a way to tie it to our actual wreath. Our bow is going to go right here and it's a beautiful bow. Let's tie the bow in place. That looks good and now it's time to just open everything up. I love this part. Of course, the longer tails, I'm going to make sure that they are going down. The shorter ones are going to go up and just keep on opening up that bow and twisting the loops in place so they look beautiful. And you know, how does that saying go? The bigger the hair, the closer to... <laughs> Kind of like this bow. I'm just opening it up and making it bigger and taller and poofier. Let's make some dovetails. And I think I do want to make little banner tails here because I think it's just it's going to be prettier. This one can just sit there. It doesn't matter. This one's just, just sheer elegance. I love this one. Make it shorter. For those that don't know what banner tails are, I'm going to show you at the bottom right here. So what you want to do is depending on where you want that little wave to go, what you want to do is take the tail and fold it up and just pinch it. It's all right to pinch because then what you're going to take is you're going to take where you just pinched it on the side and bring it forward. And then you're going to make this little kind of wave and it just it elevates it i mean you guys saw how these are just like flopping around and these they get elevated it's just they're beautiful going to pinch forward and then we're going to take our fingers and just kind of swing back and we're going to make this one shorter in person these little pink flowers the little blue vase right here and in the sky both these pinks and blues kind of bring it out and then we have aqua in the back that kind of works with the tub it just it all works so beautifully together as a bonus for today's video, I decided to do a little centerpiece that's going to go in my bathroom also. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this garden dish and I'm going to throw some rocks in there. And then I'm going to follow up with some of these pebbles and I'm going to try to distribute them evenly. Now I'm going to grab some succulents and I'm just going to stick them around. I have three of these. Look at these, aren't these fun? I'm going to stick three of these in and maybe some of these here and there and one like this. And look at this, we have a pretty little decor piece to put anywhere in our home.
Louie, give me five. Oh, you're such a good dog. Well, you guys, we are done with this wreath. I'm just playing with Louie. I can't help it. He's such a sweetheart. But I hope you enjoyed this wreath. I, I thought it turned out super cute, super elegant, perfect for my bathroom. So I'm super excited to hang it up. And if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button. I would appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. For now, I prepared two videos for you to watch. I hope you enjoy them and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye everyone. Mwah. Mwah. Say bye everyone. Bye guys.